Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we bring you the latest and most fascinating information about the world's wealthiest individuals. In this video, we will be discussing the top 10 richest people in the world, providing you with exclusive insights into their success stories, their sources of wealth, and how they manage to become the most financially successful people on the planet. Whether you're an aspiring entrepreneur or simply curious about the lifestyles of the rich and famous, this video is sure to pique your interest and leave you with a wealth of knowledge about the world's elite. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of the world's richest people. Number 10. Bernard Arnault Bernard Arnault is the chair and CEO of LVMH, the largest luxury goods company in the world. He is a French national. Sephora, Louis Vuitton, Hennessy, and Marc Jacobs are among the LVMH brands. Arnault owns a sizable stake in Christian Dior Southeast, the holding company that owns 41, which accounts for the majority of his wealth. Two of the LVM that have his six additional shares in Christian Dior Southeast. His family-owned holding company, Group Familial Arnault, owns 2% of LVMH. Arnault, an engineer by training, took over Ferret Savinal, his father's construction company, in 1971, where he first demonstrated his business acumen. Number 9. Elon Musk Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. He was born in South Africa, attended a university in Canada, and later transferred to the University of Pennsylvania to complete his bachelor's degrees in physics and economics. Two days after enrolling in a graduate physics program to launch Zip2, one of the earliest online navigation services, Musk withdrew from Stanford University. He reinvested a portion of the startup's profits in the creation of X.com, an online payment system that was later acquired by PayPal Holdings PYPL following its sale to eBay eBay. Number 8. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos established Amazon in 1994. Com is a garage in Seattle shortly after he quit his job at D.E. Shaw, a major hedge fund. David E. Shaw, his former boss, had initially rejected his proposal to start an online bookstore. Even though it initially began as a book retailer, Amazon has since evolved into a one-stop shop for just about everything, and it is anticipated that by 2024, it will surpass Walmart as the largest retailer in the world. Number 7. Bill Gates In 1975, while Bill Gates was a student at Harvard, he and his childhood friend Paul Allen went to work on new software for the first generation of microcomputers. Gates dropped out of Harvard during his junior year to co-found Microsoft with Allen following the success of this project. Microsoft, the world's largest software company, also makes a line of personal computers, sells video game systems and related game devices, and offers email services through its exchange server. It has recently made significant investments in cloud services. Number 6. Warren Buffett Warren Buffett, the most famous living value investor, declared earnings from his paper route on his first tax return in 1944 when he was 14 years old. In 1962, he bought shares in a textile company called Berkshire Hathaway for the first time. By 1965, he was the majority shareholder. In 1967, Buffett added insurance and other investments to the company's holdings. Number 5. Larry Ellison In New York City, Larry Ellison was born to a 19-year-old single mother. Ellison left the University of Chicago in 1966 and worked as a computer programmer in California. He joined the electronics company Ampex in 1973, where he met Ed Oates and Bob Miner, his future business partners. Ellison joined Precision Instruments as vice president of research and development three years later. Together with Oates and Miner, Ellison established software development laboratories in 1977. The company released Oracle, the first commercial relational database application to employ structured query language, two years later. Number 4. Steve Ballmer After being persuaded by Bill Gates to drop out of the MBA program at Stanford University, Steve Ballmer joined Microsoft in 1980. He joined Microsoft for the 30th time. In 2000, Ballmer took over for Gates as CEO of Microsoft. Up until his resignation in 2014, he held the position. Ballmer was in charge of Microsoft's 2011 acquisition of Skype for 8. 5 billion Ballmer is the software giant's largest individual shareholder, with an estimated 4% stake in the company. Ballmer purchased the Los Angeles Clippers basketball team for $2 billion in 2014, 
shortly after stepping down as Microsoft CEO. Number 3. Carlos Slim The majority of Carlos Slim's wealth comes from his majority stake in America Movil, a Mexico City-based telecommunications company. Additionally, he owns substantial stakes in Grupo Financiero, a banking and insurance company, and Grupo Carso, a holding company. Numerous additional publicly traded businesses are among the additional holdings. Number 2. Larry Page Larry Page, like a number of the tech billionaires on this list, started his journey to fame and fortune in a college dorm room. In 1995, Page and his friend Sergey Brin came up with the idea to improve internet data extraction while they were attending Stanford University. Due to its capacity to evaluate links to a page, the duo developed a brand new technology for search engines that they dubbed Backrub. Number 1. Sergey Brin Sergey Brin was brought into the world in Moscow, Russia, moving to the U.S. with his family when he was six in 1979. When Eric Schmidt took over as CEO in 2001, Brin became Google's president of technology after co-founding the company with Larry Page in 1998. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.